Apple is on the verge of taking the compact tablet market by storm with the upcoming iPad Mini 8, a device that is expected to bring a major leap in display technology to Apple's smaller slate series, while still maintaining the ultra-portable footprint that users have come to love from previous iPad Mini models. The company is reportedly planning to introduce the iPad Mini 8 sometime in the third or fourth quarter of 2026. Although these estimates are largely dependent on Samsung's OLED production schedule, as Samsung is said to be the exclusive supplier for the iPad Mini 8's panels. According to Insider Reports, Samsung will provide an annual supply of approximately 3 million OLED units, ensuring that Apple can meet the demand for this highly anticipated device while maintaining quality standards consistent with Apple's reputation for premium displays. The iPad Mini 8 is expected to feature an 8.4-inch OLED screen, a step up from the IPS LCD display of the iPad Mini 7, offering improved contrast, deeper blacks, higher brightness levels, and more vibrant colors, all of which will make media consumption, gaming, and productivity tasks far more immersive on such a compact device. While the transition from IPS LCD to OLED marks a significant advancement, Apple is reportedly sticking with a single light-emitting layer and low-temperature polycrystalline silicon, LTPS, TFT technology, rather than adopting the more advanced LTPO panels that are present in the higher-end iPad Pro lineup. This means that while users will enjoy the benefits of OLED, the iPad Mini 8 will not feature promotion adaptive refresh rate support, which remains exclusive to Apple's Pro models, particularly the M5 iPad Pro variants in 11-inch, and 13-inch sizes. Apple's rationale behind this decision appears to be cost-driven. Offering LTPO and promotion technology on the iPad Mini 8 would significantly increase production costs, potentially undermining the appeal of the iPad Pro lineup, which Apple wants to maintain as its premium option with top-tier display performance. Industry insiders also suggest that Apple's strategy with the iPad Mini 8 involves a careful balancing act providing users with a noticeable upgrade over the iPad Mini 7 without cannibalizing sales of the more expensive iPad Pro models, which feature tandem OLED panels, superior color accuracy, higher refresh rates, and other display enhancements not planned for the Mini. The compact tablet's OLED display will therefore provide richer colors, more vivid images, and improved battery efficiency compared to the Mini 7 making it a substantial upgrade for everyday users, casual gamers, and professionals who require a small yet capable device for note-taking, reading, and on-the-go productivity. In terms of the production timeline, Samsung is reportedly set to begin mass production of the iPad Mini 8 OLED panels in July 2026, aligning with Apple's planned launch window in the latter half of the year. Based on this production schedule, it is anticipated that the iPad Mini 8 will arrive in the holiday season of 2026, likely between September and December, providing consumers with the opportunity to upgrade just in time for end-of-year festivities, back-to-school needs, and holiday sales. Analysts also point out that this rollout will precede the OLED upgrade for the iPad Air series, which is expected to occur around 2028, meaning that Apple will strategically stagger OLED adoption across its mid-range and entry-level tablets, giving each segment its moment in the spotlight and allowing the company to control production costs, supply chain logistics, and marketing impact. Display insiders note that while the iPad Mini 8 will represent a significant visual improvement over the Mini 7, consumers should be prepared for a price increase due to the new OLED technology. The exact price point is not yet confirmed, but industry estimates suggest that Apple could increase the base price to reflect the improved panel and overall performance enhancements while keeping it competitive with other compact tablets in a premium segment. In addition to the display, rumors indicate that the iPad Mini may 8th benefit from internal upgrades to the processor, RAM, and connectivity options, making it a more capable machine for multitasking, gaming, and professional applications. While Apple traditionally reserves the most powerful chipset for the iPad Pro lineup, it is expected that the Mini 8 will still feature a substantial performance boost over the Mini 7, potentially incorporating the latest Apple Silicon design for efficiency and speed in a small form factor, allowing the device to handle modern apps and demanding tasks without compromise. Furthermore, 
Apple's commitment to integrating OLED technology in smaller, more affordable devices reflects a broader trend of bringing premium visual experiences to mainstream consumers, making high-quality displays more accessible without necessitating the purchase of a top-tier Pro device. While the Mini 8 will not include LTPO or tandem OLED technology, the single-layer OLED panel will still offer improvements in viewing angles, response times, and color reproduction, ensuring that users experience a notable difference when streaming video, editing photos, or playing games. Apple's careful approach also preserves the unique value proposition of the iPad Pro series, ensuring that professional users still have incentives to invest in larger, higher-end models with full promotion support, mini-LED or advanced OLED technology, and additional performance advantages such as M5 chips, enhanced graphics capabilities, and larger battery capacities. Alongside the iPad Mini 8, Apple is reportedly planning a redesign for the M6 MacBook Pro, which is expected to launch around the same time frame, featuring a notchless touchscreen, thinner chassis, and a completely revamped hinge design. This suggests that Apple is aiming for a coordinated upgrade cycle across multiple product lines, bringing consistent technological advancements to both mobile and laptop devices while maintaining a design language that emphasizes modernity, portability, and premium aesthetics. The iPad Mini 8 OLED panels are being manufactured by Samsung, the same partner that provides displays for Apple's higher-end devices, ensuring a high level of quality control, color accuracy, and durability. With an annual production volume of 3 million units, Samsung is expected to meet the initial demand while allowing Apple to refine production processes, optimize yield rates, and prevent potential supply shortages, which have historically affected Apple product launches when new technologies are introduced. As we look further ahead, it is expected that Apple will continue to expand OLED technology to other models, including the iPad Air, but the staggered rollout ensures that early adopters of the Mini 8 will enjoy a unique first-mover advantage, experiencing a cutting-edge display in a compact, highly portable package that balances performance, efficiency, and cost. For consumers who prioritize portability without sacrificing visual quality, the iPad Mini 8 represents a compelling option, delivering a premium OLED experience in a device that remains easy to carry, handle, and use in a variety of scenarios, whether for media consumption, creative work, or everyday tasks. While the absence of LTPO technology and promotion support means the Mini 8 will not match the responsiveness and refresh rate fluidity of the iPad Pro models, Apple has carefully optimized the display for its intended use case, prioritizing battery efficiency, brightness, color reproduction, and durability over features that are costlier to implement in a smaller device. Moreover, this strategic positioning preserves the iPad Pro's status as the ultimate choice for professionals and power users while still offering a significant upgrade path for casual users and students seeking a modern, compact tablet with a high-quality screen. In addition to the display and internal hardware improvements, the iPad Mini 8 is expected to support enhanced connectivity options, including Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and potentially upgraded cellular connectivity, making it a versatile tool for both personal and professional use. With these upgrades, Apple ensures that the Mini 8 remains competitive in a market increasingly populated by compact tablets from Samsung, Lenovo, and other Android manufacturers, all of which are pushing high-end display and performance technology into smaller devices. Finally, the anticipated launch of the iPad Mini 8 in Q3 or Q4 of 2026 represents a critical milestone in Apple's ongoing efforts to democratize OLED technology across its product lineup, offering users a tangible upgrade over the Mini 7 in terms of display quality, visual performance, and usability, while carefully preserving the premium tier of the iPad Pro series. Consumers can expect to pay a slightly higher price for this OLED upgrade. But the combination of enhanced display quality, improved internal specifications, and continued portability ensures that the iPad Mini 8 will be a highly desirable choice for users looking for a compact, high-quality tablet experience in the mid-2026 period. Overall, the iPad Mini 8's transition to OLED represents not just an incremental update, 
but a strategic step in Apple's long-term product roadmap, signaling the company's commitment to bringing premium display technology to its compact devices while maintaining the distinct advantages and identity of the iPad Pro line. And this release is expected to excite both loyal Apple users and newcomers, seeking the perfect balance between portability, performance, and display innovation.